Duplessis fires it in and South Africa win their own ball once more. It really is not pretty to watch on a dark, cold Dublin night, but it is effective. And South Africa deserving of their lead. The penalty goes Ireland's way on this occasion, O'Gara, no doubt. We'll try and get every inch on the platform. No, he won't. He fires it cross field when surely the kick down the line was what Ireland required. Maybe not. Stringer for Kean Healy. Stringer looking for it again. In, by the way, for his 92nd international cap, Stringer. Darcy somehow comes out of that group of white shirts and still holds onto the ball and still goes forward. Stringer can see it there for O'Gara. Cross field kick. Tommy Bow comes onto it. Tommy Bow gathers and Tommy Bow is under the sticks for Ireland. At last, a spark from the Irish attack. And with what? Just about 12 minutes to go. Well, maybe there's still something in this game for Ireland. Superb bit of skill here from O'Gara. Uh, matched by that of Tommy Bow. They've collaborated on many occasions in similar circumstances. But what a timely boost for the Irish. 12 minutes left on the clock and Tommy Bow gets in under the six with a simple conversion to come. And uh, that seven-point gap re-established, you would think, by Ireland. And really came from nothing, Royal. You know, it was just taking it up again. The South African defence looked excellently organised. And the space was outside. And in behind the uh, three quarters. And brilliantly taken by Tommy Bow. Here's the kick again. It bounces beautifully. He's there to take it. Applin had no chance. And Kirshner, well, a vain attempt to tackle. But Tommy Bow gets in under the sticks. Cardiff 2009 revisited 